Hello, and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Adobe Fresco free version versus the upgraded premium version. The ultimate question being, is it worth it? So if that's of interest to you, stick around until the end and grab your iPad, grab your Apple Pencil, and let's jump in. So I'm going to start by putting my iPad specs, what I'm using, my software specs on the screen so you know exactly what I'm working with. You can also find that information in the description box below. And also, just before we jump in, when I say premium, I mean paid versions of Adobe Fresco, aka not free. Okay, with all that cleared up, let's get to it. So right from the beginning, one of the first things that you'll notice in your free version of Adobe Fresco that's different are the brushes you have access to. So you'll notice that you have a lot of brush categories here, but you'll see that the comics category and the FX category have this blue circle with a star in it. This indicates that these are premium brush packs. So these are only brushes that you'll have access to in the premium or paid version of Adobe Fresco. But with that being said, you do have access to a whole lot of brushes here still. I mean, these are still a lot of categories. So to only have limitations on two of them is not that bad in my opinion. It's a great selection of brushes still. And you'll still have access to all of the live brushes. So the watercolor brushes and the oil brushes, you'll see there's no limitations on those or on the vector brushes. So you have access to all of these categories of vector brushes. Now I will say that there aren't as many vector brushes or watercolor and oil brushes as there are pixel brushes, but still, not too much restriction in the brush selection, still a great selection in my opinion. You'll also notice if you go to the smudge tool, which is this tool that looks sort of like a hand, if you tap that, you'll also notice that the comics and FX categories are also limited in this. This reflects the same categories as your pixel brushes. So you'll notice that those two categories will also be limited for the smudge brushes as well. Also related to our brushes, if you tap your pixel brushes category, for example, and you select add brushes here at the bottom, you'll notice that discovering new brushes and importing brush files are both premium features. As you can see in the premium version that I have here, you'll be able to install new seasonal brush packs from Kyle T. Webster, which is a feature that's limited to paid Adobe Fresco and Photoshop users only. These are brush packs that are considered a, a nice free add-on um, with your subscription, but only if you have that subscription enabled. So. Without it, you will not be able to install those and you won't be able to import other brush files. Adobe Fresco can read Adobe Photoshop brush files, so you wouldn't be able to import an ABR Photoshop brush file from your computer into your Adobe Fresco program if you're using the free version. Another restriction that you'll find within the free version of Adobe Fresco is with your shapes category. So similarly to installing brushes, you won't be able to install new shapes. There are these three categories of shapes in Adobe Fresco that have their own wide range of shapes that you can use. And it's really fun. You can just take these shapes and fill them with color, sort of use them like stamps in a way. So they're really cool and fun and easy to use. But you'll notice in the free version of Adobe Fresco, you only have four shapes, which basically just sort of represent a small sample of the shapes that the expanded premium version of Fresco would have. Then if we go to our text tool here and note you can have your text horizontally or ver vertically in Fresco. Let's say I draw a text box here. So I've got some text here and you know, I'm changing my fonts in my properties menu and that's cool, but Let's say I wanted to add more fonts. I could go to this plus sign here, but 
but in the free version of Adobe Fresco, you cannot add more fonts. In the premium version of Adobe Fresco, you'll have access to the full Adobe Fonts library, which includes over 25,000 fonts. Now, as you can see, you can pretty much scroll for a while and you won't really have a shortage of fonts to use in the program. Also, you'll see this more fonts area at the bottom and you'll see there are some restrictions on the black letter category and the comic category similar to our brush category restrictions, just denoted that these are premium selections with these star icons in these categories. So let's zoom out a bit and let's take a look at what our storage differences are. All right, now that we've looked at our brushes and some features between the free version and the premium version, let's get into storage and pricing differences. So we're going to go over to this top right-hand corner, this gear icon, and we're just going to go into our app settings. This will pull up your account information. You're gonna to go to the account section, and you're gonna see a big blue button here that says upgrade, which is under the subscription toggle. So this will pop up this big old chart for you that breaks down how you can upgrade your Adobe Fresco free plan. So right off the bat, your Adobe Fresco free plan comes with five gigabytes of Creative Cloud storage. So what counts towards your Creative Cloud storage? Synced files, cloud documents. This also includes deleted files, libraries, and Photoshop presets. So for all of that, you have five gigabytes of storage. And if you exceed your quota, you simply won't be able to create any new files. So you would have to delete things in order to add more files. So as you can see, the lowest tier premium Fresco plan is $9.99 a year, which is a really, really great deal, honestly. And you'll have access to all of the brushes and shapes that were restricted, but you'll still only have five gigabytes of cloud storage. So that might still feel a little restrictive depending on how you work, depending on, you know, Adobe Fresco has animation capabilities. Maybe your files get really big, you know, maybe you'll end up bumping into that quota, but you'll also have access to all of the fonts that you didn't before. But for that price, having access to all of the brushes, shapes, and fonts, not bad if you don't mind compromising on that storage amount. Also worth noting that Fresco is an app for the iPad and iPhone, so you'll have access to your account on both devices if you happen to also have an iPhone. Next is a Fresco and Photoshop on iPad plan. So you'll have all of these things plus Adobe Portfolio, which is a portfolio platform. You could create your own website to host your, your work and showcase your work. It's a really great website builder. It's pretty easy to use. And your storage will be increased to 100 gigabytes. It's a pretty big jump from the five gigabytes that you would have gotten from the free plan or from the lowest tier premium plan. And you'll also get access to Photoshop on the iPad. The cool thing about Photoshop on the iPad is that it's also integrated with Adobe Fresco. So you can start a project in, in Fresco and open it in Photoshop on the iPad and continue editing and working on it. So pretty nice deal, especially if you already use Photoshop, like Photoshop, this is an $80 a year plan. At the highest tier, for $149.99 a year, you have the Adobe Design Mobile Bundle. So it's got everything from the previous tier, plus it includes Adobe Illustrator on the iPad and Adobe Express. Adobe Express is basically Adobe's version of Canva. You can think of it um, as that, and it has a lot of features and capabilities. You can animate in it, you can create social posts, you can create flyers, you can, really do a lot of things in it. And then of course, Adobe Illustrator on iPad is for creating graphics and vector designs. So a great companion to Fresco because you have both pixel and vector brush capabilities, and it will allow you to seamlessly open your Fresco files 
in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad if you wanna work that way as well. But of course, that comes with a price if you're gonna access all of these different programs. And then for example, if you were to click through, say select plan, it would prompt you to start a free trial. These plans also have monthly plans. So of course, if you pay up front the whole year, you'll save a bit of money, you'll save 33%. But if these yearly plans are just a little bit too much up front, you can choose the monthly billing if you'd like. And they all come with one month free trials, which is nice. So if you're like me, you can uh, set a reminder to cancel it before it bills you if you're just trying to test it out. Okay, so now we're on to, is it worth it? Well, in my opinion, for what I do as a freelancer and a graphic designer, I think yes, because I use these programs not only in a um, personal capacity, just creating art just to create it, but I also have clients that I work with, right? So I like the capabilities. I like having full access to the capabilities that I want to use. So yes, I would say that it is worth it. Now, I think that the having the lowest tier plan to start is a really great uh, stepping stone. So if you're really not sure about upgrading to Fresco. Like I said, they all come with free trials. And honestly, $9.99 a year for an app like Fresco is pretty crazy. I think it's one of the more accessible price points that they offer for any of their programs, honestly. So I definitely think it's worth it, um, at least for you to try the free trial. Um, but as we saw, your brushes aren't that restricted. You know, you'll miss out on some shapes, some fonts, but I feel like for me, the biggest hangup is the storage capacity. I use a lot of my storage, so it'll show you how much capacity you have left. It'll show you how much of your creative storage you have left. Um, I have like three files that barely have any information in them really on this account, this free account. And I've already used like 0.3 gigabytes somehow. So I feel like before you know it, that storage could go. And then of course, if you're more involved, you know, you really do use like vector graphics and you know, you're also a graphic designer maybe as well as an illustrator, you know, then I would say that you would get the most out of everything if you upgrade to the all apps plan, you know, I use all different kinds of things that are besides drawing and, you know, doing vector graphics or, or what have you. So I just have like a more robust capability and need. So that's definitely not the case for everyone. Really ask yourself what's necessary before you go spending a ton of money. Yeah, the verdict is in. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a like and share it with a friend. If you have a question about anything Adobe Fresco related, leave me a comment down below. And if you wanna learn more about a whole playlist of Adobe Fresco videos from the channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.